On top voting rights, President Biden, killing voters before they're born is the ultimate act of voter suppression. Ryan Bromberger joins me now. Ryan, um, it is an honor to have you on this show, and I want our viewers to know a little bit about your story because it's powerful. You say that you were conceived in rape, but you were adopted in love, and that we're all better off when we choose love. Um, tell our viewers about that. Absolutely. I am literally the 1% that's used 100% of the time to justify abortion. My birth mom experienced the horror and the violence of rape, but she gave me the gift of life, gave me the incredible gift of adoption, and I was loved like crazy by my parents, Henry and Andrea Bomberger. And if I could just say, my, my dad, Henry Bomberger, passed away on this day last year, a man who loved those that other men uh, abandoned. He was a father to the fatherless. My, my small family of 15, I have six brothers, six sisters, and 10 of us were adopted. So that's why I'm particularly passionate about this issue. And I'm also an adoptive father. My amazing wife, Bethy, and I have four kiddos, two of whom were also adopted. So yeah, being pro-life is just something that courses through my veins. I was going to say, you are pro-life. Yesterday, it's interesting, I had someone tell me, we need to rebrand the pro-life uh, brand and just call it pro-love. And I listened to your story, and it's it's just it just oozes love. We can all feel it. You say the mainstream media doesn't know what to do with you um, as an African-American man, as the, you know, as you say, the product of a, of a violent rape, but who was, um, you know, uh, loved by an uh, adopted family. Um, what are they, what are they, what is the reaction to you? Well, they usually ignore me. I mean, it's easier to ignore the truth, which, you know, mainstream media, as you know, the majority of it doesn't want to actually speak the truth. When we first started the Radiance Foundation, my, my wife and I, we did a billboard campaign highlight, highlighting the hugely disproportionate impact of abortion in the black community. And it was unbelievable how many of them just ignored me. In fact, I remember NPR at one point did a, a piece on All Things Considered on the campaign that I created. It was called TooManyAborted.com. It was a campaign that I created. And when the piece came out, they had interviewed me offline for about 45 minutes. I wasn't any part of the three and a half minute piece on the campaign that I created and our organization released. So this is kind of the typical thing. I don't fit their narrative. They don't know what to do with me. So it's like, uh, we're not gonna, we're gonna pretend you don't exist. Right, yeah, absolutely. You said Biden killing voters before they're born is the ultimate act of voter suppression. Talk to me about that. Yes, we hear the Democrat Party, which, by the way, let me remind people, the Democrat Party is the party of slavery, the party of the KKK, the party of Jim Crow, the party of poll taxes and literacy tests. They're now, and also now the party of Jim COVID uh, with forced vaccine mandates in D.C. But they're the party trying to create or perpetuate victimhood, especially among people of my complexion, claiming that we can't vote. And we've had the highest voter turnout in history, you know, by the most legitimate election, according to the Democrat Party, but somehow voting rights are in jeopardy. They, you know, they can't produce one person who hasn't been able to vote. But this is the same party of limitless abortion that celebrates it as reproductive justice. There's no justice in killing the innocent. And this president is the most radically pro-abortion president in history, and it's heartbreaking. But he's chosen policies that celebrate the exploitation of women and the destruction of the unborn. So it is the ultimate act of voter suppression. You want to talk about keeping people yeah. from voting. Well, you keep them from being alive. Dead people cannot vote. Wow. Your message is powerful. I'm so glad that your mom chose life. Um, you are a blessing to this world. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks so much, Rachel.